Guys and girls, my name is Hotsus and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. And in today's episode, we will do what I promised you we will do in the last episode. Because we got a bit sidetracked. Um, we had a bit too much heat in our coal base. I mean, uh, the... Uh, the asteroid we are on here is a cold one, so most of it is rather on the chilly side, uh, but not everything. And as you can see, our interior of the base is maybe 50% on yellow orange side not on the green side so the effect there was our crops were not growing so what we did is uh, we put this in place cooling system so we can have a bit of a cooling loop through our base and we have now a stable supply of food not great yet but we will we will manage so what we will do today is extend this gantry close the door and make sure that we uh, produce some oxalite now that our rocket is once again back but we want to finish uh, this part here we need a few more bunker doors we need a few more setups as well so let's see uh, that should all be priority six and then we have a bit of, of wiring going on there so let's dig this out and probably we will need a bit more power than these two wires can uh, can supply uh, for all the way over here seeing that i have a bit of uh, steel left so let's place two more bunker doors and then i guess it's the old age old game again waiting for the duplicants to do their job countless cycles later we finally are done with all our bunkers with all our lasers everything is working and we have potentially large space for more solar panel but i think for now uh, this is enough and we can have a look at this set up here finally so this consists of three chambers the lowest one is where we will condense hydrogen and uh, oxygen and we will have a pump here and one there and we have a cooling loop going through here and on top we will have a bit of door and then we will have window tiles made out of uh, diamond for now stretching up to here actually to here and uh, we will have a ceramic roof here 
because that's the room that we want to keep cold. And this is a vacuum, so that's good for us. We don't need to uh, pump out any gases, but as we want to fill something in, um, we need um, to have a back wall because otherwise anything that we put, put in will disappear, evaporate, and that's not what we want. And then same thing over on this side. And once we have that in place, more things will follow. And probably we also need a level going down here and here on top we will need another um, another isolated room just wondering what we don't need to build that with ceramic so anything else will do and here on this side we will have it here and there and this is basically then where we have the utility um They go around this way, so we are coming in from down below, go through here, and then back out again. And as always, uh, let the duplicants do their work, and then we can see further. I think as a next step. I want to put in the piping. We do have two pumps that we are using to get the liquid out of there. And as the liquid is uh, pretty cool and we do not want to, to heat it up, uh, that means we need isolated pipe and we need it in isolation so let's just pull these out and then this one we have to pull over here and we do not have enough isolation for all the pipe um, then we will have some radiant pipe. Radiant pipe goes out of here and up to there and then eventually into the term um, aqua tunnel. And then here on this side we have the same thing in a similar fashion. Nice! And here we are coming in and then we will do a bit of looping around here. And do it like that and go in here. And on this side We'll have a bridge down there, bridge over here, 
and then looping like this. And here we are going at. So then let's put in the bridges. We need one here. We need one here. And then here on top. There we need one. There we need one. And we need sensor here and here. And hmm. I think the uh, insulated pipes up here um, we can do that in ceramic. So and like this and then down here and here and in the end we can connect that and then we have liquid went here and actually we need to turn here because on this side we will also have a liquid vent and then we also need a place where we get in our gas which is here and that's basically it for the piping so once again let's do this and then we probably want to see that we send our rocket off uh, a few more times so we can produce more um, insulation to finish our pipe situation next step is done save the the, the missing uh, pipe hitch there and what we also need to consider is a bit of power because for example um, in here we need quite a bit and here we will have a room three high and that then also means a right wall behind it uh, here we don't need because there we will eventually have um, a bit of uh, of ball going but then basically we can connect this here and then here on top two steam engines um, we will have here in the middle and another wind Which then also means eventually we need a bit of uh, hydrogen in there. 
And also here we need power. Let's bring that in here. Connect that. And we will connect that like this. And then we shall have something like this. And then that's nice trick here. We will use our diamond glass to basically take the cool uh, picking up here on the wall side, transferring it up here uh, to cool that system. And that means we also need a bit of back wall there. Right? And then I probably want to get over on this side. Um, oh, nice. We can connect up directly. And then we need to set this up. This one on this side, that will be hydrogen. So this temperature we set to minus 255. And if it is above, this uh, machine should be running. And this one for oxygen is just minus 19 190 and then of course we need to connect those up and what else um we need this here and on this side um, um, yeah actually we should probably have it there which means our ladder is slightly in the way because that's basically uh, the shot of if we are not using um, the liquid, we just drop it back in on top. And then we need some more sensors. This time, um, hydro sensor. Um, here one here and basically same thing on the other side and we need temp shift plate uh, to improve um, the thermal regulation we have in here and we make diamond because that's the best thing that we can do and we do have quite a bit so that's not an issue right and then the last thing is basically we need a gas shut off um, we will have one here and one here and that connects to there 
here. And that will be controlled by these upper sensors here. Right? And and there so we can reach that and then make everything priority six and uh, sink our rocket is full again let's turn this off turn that off and open the door Fiber. That's one ingredient that we need for uh, um, for insulation. But the other thing is uh, is a resin, which we can find find here. But well, let's take a trip to there. And once again, our duplicants have their work cut out. We have made quite a bit of progress and as you can see I also led a bit of uh, power wire for our different tools. Uh, we still need to set these up that's above uh, 250 kilograms if the game will let me. And on the lower one, we have above a thousand kilograms, which is a, is a full tile. And here on this side, it's actually above 2000, which means here that is, curiously enough, 220. So it's 220 on, on either side and that basically controls this shot off. So if we have um, enough, enough liquid in here um, to reach this point, um, we will turn this one off and not um, bringing in anything new so all that we need here is uh, a bit more of, of piping going and for that we need a lot more insulation because uh, this one has to go this way around and here we need to connect over that way and then this and this one eventually needs to go into the rocket so there we also need a bit more uh, however we also need to get uh, a bit of the super coolant in here um, Let's do the, the oxygen first because uh, that's that's easier. And then here we will have a bridge that way, bridge that way, bridge that way, and then basically here the same thing. So we can just pull this pipe through here. And 
I think that's basically it. We need a bit more water here on the on the floor, but then we can also close off here on this side, and then it is really just a, a matter of uh, getting the insulation um, that we that we need. And to get more of that, we need to uh, launch our rocket a few more times. So I will do that until next time. And then hopefully next time we can produce liquid oxygen um, to have a better fuel, a fuel supply than uh, oxalite which is a bit of a nuisance uh, feeling up here so let's go here again and we are at the end of this episode hope you enjoyed it and turn in next time when we hopefully make this setup work or at least the half that is responsible for oxygen. Until then, goodbye!